to see them trying. Oh, uh, wow. They have got a bit of a smile on their faces. And I heard that when there's a, a full moon, yeah, that they get they, really excited and they yeah. get really energetic. Yeah. Yeah. They like the moonlight, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they keep on scream, screaming all oh. night long. <laughs> Year after year, they dig the, the, the trunk to make a bed, and then the nest gets deeper and deeper and deeper, and that nest was already too deep, so we had to fix the nest, and then now they can use it, otherwise... Oh, you did that for them. <laughs> oh, how kind. We had to help them. <laughs> <laughs> When they are nesting, mm -hmm. I like to stay nearby the nest. You can find some nice feathers. Oh, they should. The they should. Yes. The feathers. All right. Because the nest is not that big, so it bends the, the feathers. Mm. The feathers drop. Oh, okay. Then they grow it back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You can say who is the female because the female has the the feathers from the tail ruined. Mm. Yeah. Because okay. Of the nest. Do you reckon we'll find one now if we look? Mm, maybe. Should we look? Let's check. Yeah. Okay. Come on. This is a feather from the wing. From the wing? Yes. Okay. And the blue color, you just have it where the sun reaches. Ah. So there's another feather covering this Covering part. that part yeah. to make the... All right. So that's where you have the blue. So if I keep it? And they, they yes. won't mind if I keep yeah, it. Yeah, if you right? have a nice hat to put it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, Well, we saw the macaw, that was pretty incredible, and I hope the WWF project will be successful in taking it off the endangered list. Back to the ranch now, and Hannah thinks she's going to bed. But oh no. I do. See this boat? I do. It's for us. Oh no. <laughs> the snake is infested with I've little seen, calm and alligators. You I've can see their eyes, eyes and that I know, I can glowing see up over eyes. there. And we're going to go for a trip. Yeah. Okay, let's go for you a You ready for it? Let's go on a trip. I'm ready for it. Okay. Okay, come. No, but I'm not that I'm really looking forward to it, but yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Get rowing. <coughs> now, viewers, can you see those eyes? Bradley, why are we here? Why right are in the here? middle of a lake, <laughs> middle of night. No. In a lake infested with alligators. Tell uh, me why. No, you tell me why. Uh, right, what was that? Behind us now is um, the biggest rodent in the world. It's called Capybara. Something like that. I think I just touched an alligator with the oar. It was really heavy. I tell you what I don't. I tell you what I don't like the most. Yeah, is when. They're right next to you, and all of a sudden they just kind of like just creep under the water nice and slow asleep with their eyes still open, like wide open, just staring at you, thinking, mm. Yeah, yeah, there's one right there. Look. I can hear one. Oh! One just made a massive splash, and that's why Bradley was standing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're both scared then, we're both scared. I'm really enjoying this, Brad. Are you? I'm really enjoying you? it, yeah. Okay, speak for yourself. It's really good. <laughs> okay, do you know what? That's... I've got a funny feeling that, that this might be infested with piranhas too. I don't like it. Ooh, jumping fish. I'm not too keen on this, actually. <laughs> There's a fish in here. It's, it's got teeth, look. Look at those teeth. Sorry, that was that weren't my fault. That weren't my fault. You knew how. Mm. That weren't my fault, alright? If you were sitting where I am and a fish hit you on the head. Gee! Should I put the fish back in? It might die. You do it. But I wanna try not to move, yeah, but it is so difficult when you got flies in your mouth, when you're in a when you're in a when you're in a lake infested with alligators, right? And piranha, jumping fish too. You know what? I think we should get out of it while we still can. can. Mm. Yeah? I think so. Alright. <laughs>
So, Hannah, this is our last day in the Pantanal. Is that why you dragged me out of bed at half five in the morning? I spoke to the, some of the guys from the ranch, like the cowboys. Yeah. And they said the day, they said this time of the day is the best time to come out and you know, see yeah. the sun rise. And I thought, you know, it'd be good to take half an hour to take a look at it. Then we go back to the ranch. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who wants some? First up, first come, first serve. I like this one here. Right, you don't bite my hand. I want to shoot you, man. Look at you. You're crazy, man. Who wants the last piece? Yeah. Good. That's it. I'll bite my hand. You're not supposed to eat me. I'm supposed to eat you. Well, I set them, Brad. Mm -hmm. That's the end of Brazil. That's it. I had fun. It's been good. Definitely. We've done loads, we've done loads of stuff. In my favourite parts, I mean, I've been waiting to come and see this macaw for such a long time. I've finally seen it now, and it's a beautiful animal. You hope the WWF raised more macaws. And Ronald. And Ronald. <laughs> Ronald, he was cute. Yeah. My favourite part was um, hand gliding. That initial bit off the runway. Horse riding's been good. Yeah. It's always been good, isn't it? Bread He's letter. stubborn. Yours is stubborn. Bread letter, I call him. Look at that. Look at my stuff. Look at that.